Club, known for satanic rituals, torture, black masses, and sacrifices, is a place rooted deeply in evil, with paranormal activity just as vile. This was the most requested location we have ever had, and is also the first to leave Corey emotionally paralyzed as he fights to scream for help. Oh, that is here. You all right? Every single video, there's at least 50 people that comment. Go to Ireland and go to the Hellfire Club. They've left like blankets, they've left the Ouija boards, they've left, uh, they've just run out of place. And they've said that the devil came here. Uh, Shadow came out from this wall right behind him and uh, just engulfed him. And he said he was never coming back up here again. He hasn't been back up here again. It's constant up here, I'm not messing. So the building shook, all the machines went bad. The guy that was here on the left, he bent over, he started vomiting. I scrapped the investigation, but I felt that safe. I'll have to have some one thing, but demonic, I'm not with it. Whoa! All three at the same time? But if I ever reach an Indian, that's when it starts going crazy. Okay, see, were you summoned here? Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Tonight's investigation takes place at Hellfire Club. The Black Mass watches. This is night two of 13 from our UK and Ireland series. Ancient Ram Inn, Pendle Hill, Poltergeist House, and many more are still to come. These are the most insidious and terrifying videos we have ever made. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel where we are dedicated to everything paranormal, mysterious, unsolved, ghostly, spooky, whatever it might be, we're here to dabble in it and learn about it. But tonight, has probably been the most requested location we have ever had over the last five years. Every single video, there's at least 50 people that comment, go to Ireland and go to the Hellfire Club. We're in Ireland and we're about a 20 minute hike away from the Hellfire Club. So Finally. we're not gonna make it to the Hellfire Club. That's <laughs> your 20 minute hike. We got as close as we could, guys, sorry. So of course tonight, it's just the three of us here, but we are meeting up with the paranormal researchers of Ireland, basically known as the best paranormal team in the country. And then tomorrow, we're continuing the saga and actually going into the Hellfire Caves in London. So we're flying to England tomorrow to do the cave. So Hellfire Club is this episode, Hellfire Caves is the next episode. And of course, in London, we're meeting up with Dan, who's otherwise known as Exploring with Fighters, and Jack, our editor. Yeah. Who we have never met after a year of working together. I know. But you guys have never met him either. No, we've no. never met Jack. No. Uh, never once. With COVID, we can never travel to see each other. Yep. You know? It's been, uh, it's been real hard, but I know that when we finally do meet him, what does that mean? Like, there's some built up emotions. About what? Romance? With who? Somebody named Jack from the UK. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna try something. Hmm. What? James, Jonathan, Danny, Michael, Jack, Matt. Wow, snap right out of it. All right, that's Isn't that weird. Interesting, weird. Isn't that int Pavlov dog thing that we got going on right now? Huh. What happened? So well, if you guys weird. don't know about the Hellfire Club, which I'm not sure <laughs> how much you guys know about it. Oh, I know a lot about it. Oh, do you? Yeah. What do you know? I don't want to spoil it for- Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Shouldn't maybe Matt do an explanation? Oh. The Hellfire Club was established in 1743. Built on the backs of motorcycles, gangs run rampant throughout the United States and United Kingdom. What? Would you mind yeah, doing the, the Irish that. version though? The Hellfire Club was built in the 1430s. In the back of the barn, in the parts in the front of the center. You go down the corner, the ghosts start weaving everywhere. They'd pull your hair, they'd pull your hoodie. You go back and you turn upside down, where are ya? You? You're upside down, but you turn back, where are ya? Think about it. Jack. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, this is one of the few places where there's people that actually believe Satan was documented on Earth here. Wait, 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 are you serious? Yes, I'm being dead serious. Satan was documented here. Yes, but we got a 20 minute hike through the woods to do right now. Hurry. We have to walk through the woods? Yeah. Montpelier Hill, more infamously known as the Hellfire Club, sits in a now public park just outside of Dublin, Ireland, with a beautiful view of the city. Yet with light 
comes darkness, and the Hellfire Club is so dense with darkness, you can feel it against your skin upon entering. The name itself, Hellfire Club, and everything it stood for, was pledged in blood and dedicated to precisely that. This Irish location borrowed its name from the original Hellfire Club founded in London in 1718, known for being a meeting place for persons of quality who wished to take part in socially perceived immoral acts. A majority of these heinous acts were executed in a location we are visiting in the next episode at the Hellfire Caves just outside of London. But of course, all of this abusive mistreatment were only rumors as most members were involved in high level of politics with evidence never concretely brought against the club. The stories and paranormal activity found at the various Hellfire Club locations would say it is far more than just rumors. This location was formally founded in 1735 by Richard Parsons, known for partaking in black magic. Yet the secrecy behind who they were led the public to believe they were Satanists and devil worshippers. This rumor was cherished and taken to the fullest extent as the president of the club would then become titled the King of Hell and would dress as if he were Satan himself, outfitted with horns, wings, and hooves. The dedication they had to Lucifer was not a publicity stunt or a meaningless joke. Every meeting they held, they would reserve a place for Satan himself to have a seat. One night, at another location in Ireland we will visit soon, known as Loftus Hall, they said the devil himself appeared to play a game of cards until he caught his seat on fire and vanished. As terrifying as that story may seem, what was done at this stone structure in Dublin was just as horrifying. Black masses were held, sacrifices of animals and humans were frequent. Exorcisms have been attempted, but all failed. The details of so many terrible nights will be shared with us tonight by our fellow paranormal investigators and Dublin natives. This is only the beginning of our Hellfire Club journey. Please make sure to subscribe as we have brand new investigations and locations every week. If you hear or see anything in this video that we do not, please leave a comment and let us know. He said it was over here, somewhere. Elton, which way was it again? Somewhere. That way. Which way? That way. Which way? That way. This is kind of like doing ballet. <laughs> A little somewhere. bit. And arm up. And plie. Like something's rubbing on me. I don't even know what the point of my light is because I'm blinded by yours. <laughs> I can only see three feet in front of me. Why do you need a map when we have a trail? That's true. All right, so once we get off the trail, then I'll use a map. This giant backpack has all of our paranormal gear in it, so that's what we're carrying up. We got night vision cameras, fire GoPros, and literally every device that we possibly have, so. Imagine if you could have all that in an app on your phone. <laughs> Man, Funny. Holy Funny you mentioned that. We're okay. lost. Finally got service again, and we missed the turn. It was probably a mile back. And it looks like we have to go an extra mile out of the way now to get there. It's in there somewhere. So it's either we go the extra mile or we cut through this path right here. It's actually beautiful. How's it going? All right. I'm Elton. Tina. Tina. Nice to meet you. How are you? How are you? We're good. Matt. Matt. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. you. How are you? Nice, right, nice to, to meet you. you. Hey, Corey. How are you? Nice to meet you. Good. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thanks for uh, meeting us up here. No problem. I assume you guys didn't go through the woods like we did. <laughs> we didn't go through the bike paths and everything, and, and we didn't get lost at all. Yeah. I didn't Weird get lost of you guys to go ahead and assume that. But you got here in the end. That's the yeah, main thing. Yeah. That's the main thing. <laughs> it's almost 300 years. Yeah. 300 years old. It's like 1934, right? Yeah. 25. 35. The first uh, part was yeah, 25, mm. and the roof was actually swept off it. Oh. So then they redesigned it to be like an oval shape to try to take the wind a little bit better. With oh. concrete. Yeah. Is that yeah, like the original is, stone and everything? Yeah. The bottom part of it is, yeah. So yeah. the roof would have been the repaired bit, if that makes sense. But that's but the, still from back in the 70s. It would, yeah, that would have been back in the yeah. 70s. Wow. As well. that's yeah. Insane. yeah. yeah. It's one of the most popular places in the country, isn't it, for the darker side of things? For the darker side, yeah. definitely. I yeah. think this well would be, known. yeah, this would be the darkest mm. in terms definitely. of what it was used for mm. historical utilized place we've ever been. We've gone in here and we found Ouija boards on the ground for people. Yeah. Oh. And it's funny. Just, us, yeah. <laughs> just some YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, Ouija boards on the ground and obviously places where people were sitting and you've seen that they've run out because yeah. they've left like blankets, they've left the Ouija boards, they've left and they've just run out of place. There's actually talks of that you you can still hear the screams of the, the tortured people and all that kind of stuff, yeah. Oh so it's, a, it's an interesting 
interesting. There's one place. particular story of a dad who came looking for his daughter and they had tortured her and burnt her and rolled her down the hill and done other things to her. What they were doing when the father came to knock on the door, seemingly what he saw, his hair turned white um, and he never spoke again. So yeah. his daughter had died, but they were still continuing to do whatever they were doing. But he never spoke again and his hair turned white overnight. So, Another thing, I'll just we'll just be bombarding with information. Yeah, we'll love it. We'll hear more when we go inside. But um, yeah. for you guys, I mean, how long have you guys been Your paranormal investigators and, and researchers? Ten years. And I'm I've about, been doing it. She's like ten. I'm about five, six. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah. Is that how you met? Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's something that keeps me doing what I do, um, but I don't. I'm not a psychic. I'm not a medium. I don't see or sense things. But there's just that little edge that I've heard certain things that would make me want to keep investigating yeah. you know and they've said that the devil came here that's one of the stories yeah. do you know what do you know what year uh, it was the 1700s I don't know the exact year but that's that's the, one of the stories of how it burnt wow. there's another story that says that one of the hierarchy so to speak at the Hellfire Club was uh, interrupted or you know disrespected by another one of the, the persons there and he drowned him in alcohol and just set him on fire and that's what burnt the building as well so there's a couple of interesting different, different tales yeah Jeez. but there is one of the the devil being here yeah but yeah we'll go in and uh dude what <laughs> it's, it's the perfect building to light on fire because no matter what it'll never Abs burn. absolutely absolutely yeah it'll never burn to the ground oh there's a staircase still whoa oh wow Wow. Yeah, different parts of this would have been redone by the OPW in Ireland. You know, that's like the government, so I think the stairs yeah. Yeah. have been fixed. So it was, there was a lot of kind of parchments and documents and records and all that kind of stuff. And of course, no one really got a chance to read through them. They were just taken out. Yeah. And a friend of mine was investigating here one night and he was standing against this wall. I wasn't there on the night. And he said, literally, somebody, he said it was like a black. Uh, shadow came out from this wall right behind him and uh, just engulfed him and he said he was never coming back up here again he hasn't been back up here again wow yeah he oh left God. running and he has not been back up here again and that would have been 10 years ago that that happened to him and he's a he's an investigator like he just will not set foot in the helper ever again do you know what he was doing they that were, might have made that happen? No, he said that they were all in the room. They weren't calling out for anything specific. His way of investigating would be listening, you know, it wouldn't be a lot of calling out or things like that. So, and they weren't provoking, they weren't shouting, they weren't screaming. Um, but what you have to remember here is what, when you come up to investigate on a night, the night before or that day, what were people doing up there mm. that day, oh, yeah. you know? So it may not be what you were doing, you know, mm. something could, have called something hours before, the day before, you know, yep. and that could, different energies then. Yeah. So last night, people could have came up here and done a ritual. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, we were in here another night, and the, the pig's head was in. What? Yeah. Wait, the it's, other night, as in recently? What, no, no, no. It's, it's okay. years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, no. Left <laughs> Tuesday, yeah. Left <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> the guys were actually still here. <laughs> so they were obviously doing some sort of blood sacrifice or yeah. whatever that goes with pig's heads, but what? it's constant up here. I'm not messing. What? And that's what the first bit of the door was, that the, the roof was swept off as a kind of revenge kind of thing. That no. wasn't you. No. Why? Okay. Yeah. Tug? No. No, okay, so completely just felt someone grab my arm, and as I look down, just a super cold breeze goes by. Jeez. Like, I, I'm being, like, dead ass. I thought it was Evan, like, standing really close to me, no. like, hitting me. Good I'm story. not even playing, bro. It was, like, super gentle squeeze. I know, I know you hate it when it happens, but I love hearing it. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, I know. Big smile on my face here. I'm thinking, that's it. That's, 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 that's what I like. Insane. Yeah. I literally thought it was you. No, it's it's camera. We haven't even started yet. <laughs> I know. We, we haven't even heard more than 10% of the stories. Yeah. They're still gatherings, as we call them. Like one night we were coming up here and there was a group of people. You weren't with me this night. This would have been before you joined the team. And we were coming up and there was people with gowns. Oh, no. And they were just walking towards us, coming down the big hill, saying nothing. And we're walking up. I was thinking, oh, Jesus. Like, but they're young and they're trying to start, let's say, mm -hmm. maybe witchcraft or, you know, um, black magic or, but it's, and trying to find what groups do it, I don't know. 
Yeah. This building's kind of a mirror of itself as well, guys. This kind of room is literally mirrored over that side. Mm. And more or less the same upstairs as well. It was actually a three story building on one side, wasn't it? It was three floors. Oh, really? But when yeah. we go upstairs, we'll show you. Um, it was like a wooden floor, um, but it's just been taken down, I assume, probably for safety reasons, for mm. the people coming in and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's definitely, you can see how big. Massive. Well, yeah. And you can see. Oh, yeah, it's blocked off. No. No, it goes straight out. So we were up breeze. here with around seven or eight different people, and we were standing here in a circle. Sorry. And there was one guy out in the hall and we were calling out. We had our devices here on the floor, so we would have had an ED meter and K2s and, you know, just simple little devices um, on the floor. And outside, uh, Wayne was standing outside. He's, he doesn't, nothing scares him. He didn't, didn't bother him being out. And then next minute, we had all our torches turned off, just the lights on the floor. Next minute, Wayne ran in. As he ran in, there was a big tud. It was like the whole, building shook now i can't debunk this because the whole building is solid it's it's just solid and um, a guy that was here on the left he bent over he started vomiting so the building shook all the machines went mad he started vomiting wayne ran in he said he ran in because a shape a dark shape in the hall just came up and went towards him so he ran in and that was the first night we even talking about it that was i was absolutely terrified that night i had no control of anything and when i come up here it's it's nice to sort of you get your bearings you know the place you've been up here loads you know i wouldn't be anywhere on my own with the lights off but you know and that night there was no control of anything everything went haywire and the guy who was vomiting he said it just like that it just hit him he bent over and just started getting sick Wow. Jeez. We went down the hill. I called an end to that night. It's the first time, isn't it, that, that I called the first night you've ever, ever. An investigation. We, I scrapped the investigation. Well, I felt not safe, and that was here. So we have the people there. Uh, is that uh, your backpack? I'm watching it. Oh, yeah. It's hidden, too. We have guests. Should we scare them? Everyone hold hands. <laughs> Should we all? Start you guys want to talk to Satan? Come on in and see. I see you. <laughs> Come on in and play. The door is right there. Just walk on through. I promise you'll leave. You go. <laughs> sake. You got me. The wrong one. Jesus, Elton. Here, you carry your backpack. That's right. So there are these. Oh, you can see, sorry, the the beams. Yeah, there would have been another floor. Oh. You can kind of see the doorway. See there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So um, there would have been another floor, but obviously there must have been wood or something like that. It was before my time. Yeah. A dude up here, well, two years ago, Chris, was it? It was two years ago, yeah. Three years ago. And um, we didn't realize that we had actually met him. We were up here one night and we were doing an investigation and uh, it was middle of winter. So everybody had their beanies on, uh, jumpers, hoods, you know. So he came into the middle of the group and I thought he was just one of us. <laughs> so <laughs> I accepted him in, I thought he was one of us. And then somebody said to me, who's that? And I said, oh, I thought he was part of the team. And they were like, no, he's not. And we were saying, what are you doing here? And he had a bag with him and he goes, nothing, I'm just up here waiting for friends. What friends are you waiting for up the hell, up, you know, top of Dublin mountains? Uh, I met them on the internet, they're on the way up now. And then one of the other guys that were with us said, what's in your bag? He was really dodgy. Mm. And he ended up opening the bag and he had knives in the bag. So then shortly after that, uh, it was on the news, there was a stabbing up in the Hellfire Club. Middle of the day and he slit the throats of this young guy and young girl. They didn't die, and there was loads of people up here. He done it in front of them, so he was taken in, and the description he gave is the same guy who twice had come into us in the middle of the night when we were up here one or two oh, in the morning. Wow. And um, he said his defense was, uh, the hellfire, the, the devil in here made him do it, that he was communicating with the devil, he was staying up here, and that the devil spoke to him and said that he had to make sacrifices or kill people or stab people, and 
So he said that the, the house spoke to him. Before he said, I've got to be in the entire building by myself while everybody else sits, everybody else sits outside and minds the business. Is that true? He said that. I did not he say that. that he, he, I, I heard him say it too. I he heard whispered that it to as me. well when you were <laughs> talking to Chris. Everyone raise your hand if you heard Corsi say in the room building by himself. No, naked. No, no. He said <laughs> naked. Yeah. The only way. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> What's going on? We're making a deal. <laughs> listen. Okay. Listen. The only way that I would stay in a room by myself is if we each have to be in our room by ourselves, but it's all at the same time. No, you can't no. do the building. That defeats the purpose, no. you see. It's not personal experience, then. No. I like them. Have you guys been in here by yourselves? Oh, it's terrible. No. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> man, be like, hell no, we want to do that. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, oh sh oh. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do it later. Okay. Oh, Told you, said it. Okay. I wasn't even a part of any of this at all. So. so I genuinely think you should do it because you won't get that you won't, chance. You won't again. get the chance again. You volunteer, to be honest. I'm just trying to have a good video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Hey, what if we sat back to back, blindfolded, and had a ton of tools around us and just blindfolded? Why would the f would you do that? I yeah. want to see. First of all, you had blindfolded. Don't try yeah. to rope me in that blindfold. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Well, so Matt, you're saying no. No! <laughs> okay, well, no means yes, so you're doing it. What? Yeah. Don't you have some sort of rule where we, he can pass on this, but then he has to do something tomorrow? That is Ooh. true. That is true, you get one pass per trip. Oh, that's a risk. Do you want to use it? That, that's, that's, a, that's a risk. We got 12 more days, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> a haunted house is one thing, but demonic I'm not with it. Well, with that being said, would you like to lead us through anything? We'll follow your lead. We can kick off the start investigation on this. Corey wants to... Go first, or do you want to leave it till later on? Do later, do later, do later. We'll do later. Yeah, we can do it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so you want to be in here after everything has already begun by yourself? I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Investigation. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Nada. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Not even where you felt your friend. Whoa. What? Did you see that? No, I was actually not looking at it. Don't. I'm, I'm being, I was literally looking at the floor. To make could, did, could you see the screen at all? No, I only walked in front. Okay, can I see it again? You're kidding me that exact time? It's not doing it. What? It, when you went from corner to corner, a giant black circle just sat in the middle until you looked at me and then it disappeared. Like, as I'm doing this, you can see the, you see how the black is like going like that? Yeah. It wasn't that. It was literally just a black ball in the middle and it just stayed in the middle the whole time. Then once you looked at me, it went away. Kind of like a black mass. I remember when you'd be so reluctant to do anything? Yeah. And now you're like negotiating with other people to do stuff that makes them uncomfortable, but you're willing to do stuff uncomfortable? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly how I got you to start doing things because I'd be like, well, if you went in a room by yourself, I'll stay in the house by myself. And now look what's happening. Oh, yeah. I'm doing to Matt what you did to me. <laughs> yeah. And then next year, Matt's going to be doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two. Should we say it on three who's joining TFIL? Sure. Wait, should I say on three who's joining the overnight channel? Sure. One, two, three. Dwayne Ariana the Rock Grande. Johnson. <laughs> I thought we agreed on this. <laughs> we can only pick one else. <laughs> They're kind of the same. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they're pretty much the same person. I'm gonna go talk to Saints real quick. <laughs> what the <laughs> Something just got thrown at me. Ow, bro. Hey, what is the plan? Where at? Where at? Don't worry about it. What do you mean don't worry about it? Where are you from? Alright. You have to get in a fight. Something he'd run out of there. Yeah, I know. That's what I was trying to figure out where you were. So, no. None of us. Oh, so, so, he, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. What the f***? Serious? I swear to God. What just happened? <sighs> what happened? Dude, I was just being funny and I was trying to exit the room and something got thrown at me. What do you mean something got thrown like at you? Like a rock. It hit you? Yes, it hit my shoe. And it went What did you say? What did you say? run out? No, I seen him. Wait, wait, he took it, off. He didn't run out, he ran up. <laughs> no, not there. Chris, he, Chris got no good for him. Oh, I thought he'd run out. No, he ran up. No, he up. ran up. Oh, right. Dude, I swear. <laughs> what the f***? The whole room is pitch black too. I didn't even enter it. Evan, come here. Oh my God, it just disappeared. 
Are you saying that? You, say, you saw it, right? It was right there. It, picked, it literally just picked up a figure right here. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, it was just... The SLS picked up someone standing right here. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Yeah, no, it's just I, I just literally see it. Because I can see it's picking up Matt right now, yeah. Yeah. and it picked up exactly that right here without a heat signature. Yeah, like a little rock just got like tossed in my shoe as I started to walk in there. That's what happened. Now I've seen your leg in it. Real question, and this isn't like a setup. Have you seen the Ghost Avengers episode? Did you hear? Yeah. No. That's crazy. Same Why? thing. I didn't see it. I is didn't that, watch it. Is that what happens? They had a brick thrown at them. A brick? Oh yeah. I didn't even make it in there. Where, where are you walking to? In there? Into here! And I literally made it to right here. Look how much of a changed person he is. Something threw a rock at him and he's just going back in. No one even asked him to. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting more and more interested. See, the rock just kept rolling. I just yeah. heard the confidence in your voice as you said you're going to go talk to Satan. <laughs> yeah, that, that is what I said. Oh my god, that's exactly what you said. <laughs> Oh, that should have been, that should have been on camera. <laughs> that, that was genius. <laughs> <laughs> Will we do a few Carlos, Dana? Yeah, go really quiet because we need to get the sounds of here. We need to... Yeah. Should we do quiet with lights off? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, because it still sees everything, even the lights off. So it says. Nice. If there is anything in this building with us, do you want to give us a sign? Do you want to move something? Can you do this somewhere in the building? There's like a stick figure dancing on your head. Me? Yeah. The top of the, the top of the landing, right there. Yeah. It actually, is Tina? Yeah. Yeah. See, it's just above her. Yeah. Can that screen record? I can use my phone. Oh, yeah. just Mon, if there's something up, if there's something up yeah. here with me now, do you want to come down the stairs? It just disappeared. I gotta say, whatever's in here is incredibly elusive. Well, it's like it almost knows exactly when the cameras are facing what. Yeah. As soon as you went to pull out your phone, it disappeared. You went away. Yeah, it was like taunting us, like the top of the stairs, just like, come on, come up here. And come back, Corey. If you want me to go to the top of the stairs, can you meet me halfway again? Can you show yourself? Are we in danger in this building? Give us a sign if you want us to leave. Yeah, I don't want anything aggressive. But if the devil really did visit here, can you give us a tiny sign of your power if you're really here? I'll tell you, I'll try this, see if we get anything on the box. Spear box? Yeah. Kind of I'm just gonna poke in here again. Should we go in the room where. Yeah, we're we'll going there if you want to. Okay, are there any members of the Hellfire Club here with us tonight? Do you want to say yes? I'll hope you stay close. Huh? I'll hope you were going to stay close. My boy. Devil. 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 We all heard wow. that. Wow. No, yeah, you. Devil. You. It's all of our ask the obvious question. Are you the devil? Say the devil again if you're the devil. Hear that? Are we in danger of this building? What's your name? Say that again if that's your name. Is your name Michael? Dude, it sounded like, in like a very deep, bassy way, it said Michael and then a growl. Like it was like, Michael, hmm. You ever really want to answer the next question, people ask? Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. <laughs> Did you, you heard him say that too? If we leave Colin here on his own, are you going to show yourself to him? You know, second? Two seconds. I thought that said two seconds. Yeah. Don't ask a question, Hayden. Yeah. What if that question's already been answered? What do you mean? <coughs> what do you mean? For you to stay in this room. So don't beat around the bush. Get yeah. to stay. Come here, Corey. Good thing I pulled my phone out. No one. What? No one's standing there. <gasps> it's not me. Where's Corey? Which one is That's Corey? That's Corey in the blue. Oh. In the blue, yeah. Right beside you. That's it. Yeah. Gone. When was that? Just now? Mm -hmm. yeah. While you were doing the fear box. When you read up, you heard devil. Now is the perfect time. Yeah. So leave back. Yeah. Ryan, shut the <laughs> Can you have them for five minutes? No. Ten. Rem pod? Uh huh. Yeah. And either the camera guy with me? Uh, no. Oh, or that's cheap. Or, <laughs> or Matt. <laughs> camera guys are people. <laughs> camera <laughs> guys are people. You and Matt each in different rooms opposite of each other. No, Perfect. that's not meeting in the middle at all. That's you not being in here by yourself and him not being in here by himself. Wait, if I stay here by fair. myself, could you guys just stand it's out so the door? It's not all about you. Well, well, it would be outside. 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 We're not like, we're we're outside, outside, outside the building. We'll hear, we'll hear your screams. You know what happens when you run? You grab you. Run, you run into the wall. <laughs> no, oh, grab you. Grabs you. <laughs> Do I device or no? Just give me a room uh, pod. Which one? Uh, yeah. You want a temperature one, the new one? We haven't had that one go off yet. Yeah, we've never had that one go off. You know, the music box. <laughs> and the music box. I mean, okay. You're going to have so much fun. Yeah, I'm so excited. You are. Yeah. You look excited. I can't wait until 10 minutes from now. Oh, so you, you did say 10 minutes. Huh? So you said you're 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. No, no, because I. it's going gonna to take like three to set up. It's going to take like two to prepare. And then oh, like, but we never told you. Yeah, so 10 minutes he's But we never told you. I can't wait. Irish 10 minutes is totally different than the American one. Time's slower. Don't believe yeah. Time difference. The time difference. They talk faster. They talk faster, but the time is slower. Yeah. So are, you, are we taking it that this is your pass for the trip? Yeah. Uh, the whole downstairs is cameras, except for the back room where you got touched when we first got in here. Interesting. First time that's gone off. Ever. Yeah, brand new device for us. Ever. Oh, I didn't go off all yesterday. That's Joey, right. Never went to do it. I'm trying to get it to. Yep. Yeah. I'm not close enough for it. Dude, they're both going off. I think we should leave. That could have been you, man. That sucks. Could have been you. You could have been, been I mean, one. It's still well, look. Okay, so depending on how this goes, maybe I'll do it. Maybe. <laughs> But if he's getting hit with more shit, nah. <laughs> Should go a little bit further away. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I'm sure you're not new to this. I'm sure a lot of people come in here and always ask you to try to talk to them and communicate with them. So I just want to go ahead and ask a quick question. When I first walked in here earlier, did you or something throw a rock or an object at me? Can you make that device on the floor that beeps go off? Oh, I got mad shoes. Okay. I'm proud of him. I am too. Well, it's a good experience. I'm all for if you would have seen how he started like three years ago, yeah. is that never. Uh, it's like a blood. Oh no! Are there spirits and or demons stuck here, or that just like coming here? I don't know if you guys heard that, but I just heard a hissing noise. It was like a very loud hissing noise, and it sounded like it was above me. Is this a demonic place? Is there any
anything here that wants to talk to me? Can you make that REM pod go off on the floor? Touch the antenna for yes? I just heard the music box go off. The series of events though, for him to be like, I'm gonna go meet Satan, and then immediately yeah. run, bolt upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. And then we hear on the spirit box, devil, as I have it. Did you just make that music box go off? Take that as a yes. That's my K2 that I'm holding now. Is there something in this room with me? I'm feeling a presence of something. Yep. Yep. Is it true that the devil came here? Is my K2 going crazy? Okay. Come on, can you make that device on the floor beep? Just touch the antenna. Wow, I just saw like a white light right outside the hall. And then it went away. I th honestly, I don't. I think he'll be in there until we go get him. If you want me to refer to you as something else in the spirit, make the device go. Okay. So that's a yes. So if you're not a spirit, are you a demon? Oh. Hey, Elton. What happened? I'm ready to get out. What just happened? You just yell. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready to get out. What happened? What just happened? What made you yell? So I was pretty calm. Music box went off. That device back there went off. K2 went off at least in your hand. Yeah, at, at least six to ten different times. Sit. Okay, it's well, only motion. the reason why I yelled for you was because I literally have no idea what it was, but I'm looking down like this, and as I look up, I just see something fast as just fly up. Like fly su up. super tiny, just shoot up. My hands are like sweating so bad right now. So I asked it and I said, you know, are you a spirit? Are there spirits here? And it was, like, it was nothing at all. Oh, 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 yeah. Both. 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 And so I said, and so I said, if you're not a spirit, do you want to refer to you as something else? Devices started going off. And I go, okay, are you a demon? As soon as I say that, I see something fly up. Okay, and there's the EMF going off on the AD meter. That's Whoa. Good. All three at the same time? Staying. On. One's brand new, one's old, and... Yeah. This is what happened the night, That's and it was in this room when everything kicked off all the devices. We're just going crazy? Crazy! That's like you were saying, remember when the big bang? Yeah. It's like the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's been so days where this doesn't even light up one time. Yeah, the last yeah. night I bet it didn't move at all. Not once. So are you a demon? So it's the K2 and that one back there. A little beep on that. Yeah, That's that. very slow, like a vibration or interaction. But still something. Yeah. The little. T -t 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 -t. Yeah. You are something because you're getting. You're getting interaction. Yeah. 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 I was just asking. See. <laughs> this one's not over here with the last.
Now the thing is, I ask, you know, are there good spirits? Are there people that are trapped here? Mm -hmm. Nothing. But if I ever mention a demon, that's when it starts going crazy. There you go. See? You literally, as you said, good spirits, it turned off, and as you said, demon, it turned back on. Yeah. And you're are definitely there... getting a reaction. And it was the same with the devil, remember, of the, the spirit box? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there multiple demons in here with us? Or is this just one demon? This is why I love when we have nights where nothing happens, because then it, like that did not go off at all last night. After no, but it. this, this has never we yeah, went we've, off. We've yeah. been pub as well, and we've, nights maybe, no we've had a years, and it's probably yeah. went off maybe four times. Yeah, I know Pierre was one of the times. Yeah. Now, well, we're up on the jumping mountains, yeah. there's no electricity around us, no. just so you know, just there stuff. is nothing around us. Just doing this oh! Thing. No, I completely like forgot. Did you just hear that? Sorry. Did you hear the footsteps? Yeah. Footsteps? Yeah. Like I had like a heavy boot. No. Did you hear it? No. I heard a hissing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there was a super. It was like. Okay. Music box. Yeah. Nobody out there. I just want to make sure that, I, I heard. that I'm right. right. Yeah, yeah. That it is motion that's doing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Because there's a temperature gauge in it too. That's what I said. So see the little tiny. Oh, yeah, the eddy. So yeah. That's, see where it's flashing? Yeah. So like, for, like, for example, it's like someone tapping it. Mm. Like, tapping again. Yeah. To the demon or whatever is in this room with us right now. Oh, you have Were you summoned here? Both heavy. K2 and Rimbot? Oh, that's gone. Yeah. Holy sh. Dude, all three are going off again at the same time. Dude, K2 was just staying on right. But what did you uh, just ask? Oh, you want If it was summoned here. Again, all of them. Whoa. The yellow light? Yellow. I've never even seen that. Yellow on blue? I've never seen yellow That was on blue. blue. Or it was, it just went away. Would you prefer when there was only one person in here? Or would you rather feed off the energy of multiple? Is it true the devil came here? What was that? Was that one of y'all? No, I heard yeah. it out there again. Yeah. This is... Dude, that was a loud bang. Yeah, like the whole time out there. Is it true the devil came here? Is it true that the devil came here? But it's sat right in the room. If you're outside in the hall now, do you want to come in through the door? Come on, come in through the door. We heard something out in the hall. And one of the little devices we have on the floor here. Why don't you touch the top of it, see if you can make it go off? Sixty-second experiment. Hmm. I'll just leave you in here again and see what happens. <laughs> I'm just really curious to see if we all leave and if it's just all <coughs> again. We'll be like right there. I'm just, if you don't have to, but I'm just really Where, where would you say Like, just where? Outside again? Just outside where you can't see us in the windows. Uh, I'm really curious to see if like we live. 30 seconds. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. K2, immediately. All right. It's only me again. And so we doing 30 Mississippi alligators? Or 30 Mississippi Tennessee 30 alligators? 30 Bally Huh? 30 Bally 30 Bally Gally Mississippi alligators? One Mississippi Bally Gally alligator. Two, two alligator. Mississippi, Mississippi Bally Gally alligator. <laughs> Three Mississippi. Yes, over. Okay. One, One Mississippi, Mississippi Bally Gally alligator. alligator. It's just me in this room. Can you make those? What the f was that? Five Mississippi Valley <laughs> Galley alligator. Six, Six Mississippi Valley Galley alligator. If that was you that just made that noise, can you make these devices go off?
Mississippi Valley Galley. Yo. Alligator. Window. That, whatever that is right there, just moved. There shouldn't be anything there. Shouldn't be anything there. And it just, it, it just was halfway out of the window and then went right back. You want me to go to a different room? What is that? Elton. Elton, you don't have anything up there? Take a picture from the tree right there. What would that be? Yo, I just keep hearing like bangs right outside the room. Where? Right at the entrance, like where the stairs are. I think. It's crazy. I, you know what's even more bizarre? What? I just moved this away from there. The, this was a, the music box and, and the <laughs> camera was originally set up there. And now it's going crazy. So we would have caught that. But again, I moved the camera. <laughs> well, maybe that's why it's doing that. Was it, the camera's moved. Was it going off? That was the first time it went off. Okay. Yeah, I literally just moved the camera away from there. But Matt just got something on the thermal upstairs. What? Yeah. Interesting. Nothing should be lit up in there at all. There's no heat and no equipment. Yeah, first noise I heard, literally, literally sounded like someone was holding a flip flop and just smacked the wall. With it. And it was loud. Belt. Or a belt. Yeah. yeah. What happened, Corey? So, pretty much. None of the devices went off, obviously. I'm standing right here, from right over there, either by the stairs or that little entrance. Sounds like someone smacked the wall with like a shoe or like a belt. Like it was just like a smack. Like leather hitting it. Yeah, it sounded like leather. When was this? Probably 20 seconds after y'all left. Oh, so, so then, we're maybe three we're ballot, this is City Valley Alley Alligators. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I heard another pebble fall. Then I heard another noise, like kind of sounded like either like a bang or maybe like a footstep from out there. So then I yell for Elton. As soon as he walks in, remember nothing's going off. I immediately tell him I heard a noise out there. I think there's something out there. That starts going crazy. Rim parts, rim pot starts beeping again. So now it's a five five five. I think no, but dude, it's been at five 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 the whole time. I think it wants us to literally like go upstairs because of all and the thuds, the knocks. Matt, what did you see upstairs? Oh yeah, there was something in the window that was just staying there. What do you bright. mean? Bright. I was looking into the windows with this, and there was a bright square. There was like a bright square circle, hard to tell in the shape, whatever. But there's nothing up there in the window. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing. There's no equipment. There's nothing should be heated up there. I think it wants us to go upstairs, dog. Mm -hmm.
Does anyone want to come play with our toys on the floor? Come on, if that's you trying to come closer, come right into the center of the circle. Show us how strong you are. Come on, you're meant to be so powerful. Come on, right in. Walk towards somebody that's in this group. Put your hand on their shoulder. Can you come into this room that we're in right now? The orange lights start to flash and you start to open. <clears throat> and can you touch one of the cat balls on the floor? All you have to do is try to push the ball. Yeah, it works. <laughs> That's actually crazy. You wanted them to come to the side of the room, that is pretty much the best time. And again, it's when you ask a question. <laughs> no, seriously, you want that? It's your only one, Yeah. Is it true that you only want to communicate with our friend Corey? We're all going to go around the room and ask the question once. And it's true when Corey finally asks his, can you make that go off? Would you care to speak to me at all? If so, you can make any device go off. Huh? The temperature has changed. Come on. 
it, it dropped to 558 five, and then it went to 559 five, and now it's fluctuating between 560 and 559. What was it at before? It was at 560. There you go again. Capital. Capital again. Well, the capital is draining. It is. The blue's not shining. 560 and 559. What was that before? It was at 560. There you go again. Capital. Capital again. Is this the entity of the cat in here playing with our device? If it is, can you make the rim pod go off again or maybe touch one of the cat balls? Or is this something else that's talking to us? Come on, come to the center of the room like you did before. Think about that. Where did you feel the rock? To the entrance. Go where? Downstairs. Go where in your body? Right, right. My foot. Right. <laughs> Same like a cat. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't a rock, maybe it felt like a little paw. Do I remind you of somebody? Oh. You're welcome. We're just taking a You realize you just tried to leave and it went off, right? Yeah. And then you stopped and moved yeah. back in your place. Yeah, you can't go nowhere. Like home. Oh, that, <laughs> that didn't go up when you moved, that went up. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Same yeah. stop. Do you know me? Do you like Corey? Because he made a joke about saying he wanted to go meet Satan. Do you want me to stay here with you? I'm going to talk to her. You like so, it? <clears throat> you mess us up.
damage. Dude, it's like we get so much activity that leaves. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, it's the same room downstairs. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. Only go for a little while. And yeah. The batteries. Well, you have to remember, they say that spirits manipulate all these devices and all it takes a huge amount of energy. Yeah. I mean, that energy is going to burn out. <clears throat> Very true. I was like, that's really impressive with them. Um, because I know how hard it is for those boxes to go off, like, yeah, you know. Too. Yeah. And you could have the whole night, we've had whole nights with no. activity, like nothing. So when you get it, it's really interesting. First off, Tina and Griff, thank you. Appreciate you bringing us out here and giving us the history. Time. Yeah, really it was an absolute pleasure. It was yeah, really good. You guys have your own YouTube channel, Instagram, everything, right? Um, yes, no, maybe. Facebook, Instagram, yeah. So okay. Paranormal Research is Ireland. Okay, that's yeah. all in the description. Just easier to click a button. Mm. You guys, yeah, this is what you do full time, right? Yeah. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's a hobby, but it's what we do all the time. Yeah, we've been doing it for yeah. the last few years, so we love it. I mean, you have your own merch lines. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do, we do. <laughs> Oh, yeah, if you want to find me, Chris Rush Horror Writers, you'll get me on there okay. on Facebook. There it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there it is. And you convinced us, yeah. so we're going to reroute our day off on our trip to fly back to Ireland yeah. to go with you to the mansion. I can't believe it! <laughs> so we're going all the way to England for 10 days, taking the day off, flying back, back. Back to Dublin, driving three hours to go stay the night there, driving three hours back, and then going to the catacombs. And, it and then will immediately. Be worth it. I'm telling you, he's a lover. Definitely won't That's how much you sold us on it that yeah. I was like, yep, we're just yeah. gonna book all the flights. Dude, and instantly, you're like, okay. Yeah, I was like, we gotta rent a new car, <laughs> get new flights. We're, we're, we're ready. Yet. Yeah, so yeah. So we'll see you guys again. Absolutely. Very, very, soon. very soon. It's fairly late in the night, kind of early in the morning, I guess, but we're all gonna head back. They have work in the morning, we have a flight to England. Um, but tomorrow we will be at the Hellfire Caves. And Please. enjoy. Have you been there? Oh Jesus, no, I wouldn't go there. Don't <laughs> say what? That. Absolutely don't not. Say like what in the Hellfire that. Caves? You're this crazy. is good luck, lads. <laughs> so who already used up their free pass? Nah, Ryan did. Ryan used his free pass. <laughs> and Matt did. Raise your hand if you still have your free pass. <laughs> no. 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 We'll see. We'll see what oh, happens. You know what no. I mean? We'll see what You're going to be the only one to go in the cave. <laughs> 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 we, all, we all use our free pass tomorrow. No, we no, just no. sent Matt in. We could. Well, if you don't mind, we're going to follow you out so we don't get lost again. Brilliant. Okay. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> all right. See you guys in the next video. See you guys. Thank <laughs> my life. Tonight, we're at the Hellfire Caves. We're just getting locked in, and then we just we figure it out. On its night, this place is hell. There's no one else with us, is there? We all here. Uh, everyone's here. Footsteps. There's someone walking like, down there. Are there anybody? buried down here. There are still remains of people that um, sort of fell foul to the ways of the Hellfire Club still remain down here, yeah. To them, to the All Father, ask for his guidance and protection while we're here. And can you make us unprotected? If you like. Yeah. This is your chance. No veil, no protection. demon then turn the light on if you don't know what kind you will oh look camels camels are off look that's a flashlight what's going down down the hallway do you want to take over our bodies off oh, you know. just happened i i i shadow in the got a black figure that's the <laughs> first time it's ever gone off for that long all right giving you exactly what you asked for Oh my god!